was an amazing and thrilling and livening event that you must be a part of. Again, my name is Venturis. I love music. I love the spoken word. I love the art of that. And I love the artifact in that. Um, tonight, I presented myself um, in a large platform thanks to Hurt John. Pound Hurt John the experience. Um, again, if you weren't a part of this experience, you better come next time again. Uh, what else? <laughs> and you know it. Up to the stage. Up to the stage, what's your name? My name is Ventress. They call me Benny. And this is how I'm going to approach this. Everybody pay attention, go ahead and status quo this. Poverty is a middle name, so yes. I uh, encroach, piss me off when you're talking, because yes. I got roaches, a lot of them. Smoke this, hold this, hold up. This whole life is bogus. Especially because I thought that high would last a long time. I passed my sins to the left and I was expecting that the whole time. But he didn't let it out. And he was playing me the whole time. So now I'm at a distance wishing I can hold time. Navigate the GPS to our sofas because we've been sitting on the gold mine. But we never dug it out though. Instead... We can't pretend Absolutely, yeah. So, um, my bread and butter is teaching the next generation um, how to find their art. So, I have this organization called Both Hands, the Art Lab. And Both Hands is just a it's a metaphor where you use um, all facets of the uh, community. So, your right hand, the, the more prominent, and the left hand, the people who are overlooked, to find and discover whatever that art may be, whether it's filmmaking, poetry, photography, um, music, dance. Um, Engineering, whatever the, whatever their art might be, for those who have not otherwise had the opportunity to discover that, I uh, I teach and engage over 30 young people at a time um, to find their art and to articulate themselves and to hone their craft. Um, See, most people they don't like me because my taste is too rich. They go up for my aroma and they hit my stitch. And the girls try to mirror me, that's why I think I'm a bitch. But they were peering at every minute, so that can't be it. And I got my you gonna cut that shit out. <laughs> something that is in you so if it's something that's close to your heart something that's that that you can't you go to sleep thinking about you wake up thinking about you're apprehensive about giving it to the world and that means it's something for the world to know because that means you hold it safe so for those people who have that small thing and rain on them those people who have a voice and are trying to hone it hone it and share that shit because you need to somebody needs that and if you're working on it, crafting it, getting it right, getting it to the to the perfect orb of amazingness, trust me, it's gonna to touch somebody. You touching one person, yeah, it's cliche. All you need to do is touch one person. 
all your art form needs to do is touch one person and you've made that difference. Don't need to be cliche, but that's exactly what art is supposed to do. So for that next generation, work on your stuff. Do not exploit the arts. The arts are integral and important to, cult to culture. So, Say something to the kids. Get your shit together and be great. You're not supposed to curse at the kids, but no. Uh, that's how I fucking talk to them. Get your shit together. Stop buying Jordans and invest in yourself. Because ain't nobody going to invest in you more than you. It's okay. I mean, you, especially if you're poor. Experience it and then thrive from that. Be great. Be better. That's what I got to say.